Okay, I have a dice in my hand. So uh, Dave just said something about Valhalla. He said, I was the blank of Valhalla. What did you say? The life and soul of Valhalla. That's right. Now you can't get rid of me. Now you can't get rid of me. I was like, True. well, if my dance card doesn't fill up, am I going to be up here next time? <laughs> yep, that's right. No, it's on. It's on. I am like a sticky booger. You cannot get rid of me. You can flick and flick, but I will only end up on a different finger. That's right. Hey, so uh, guess what? Guess yes, what it's time for lunch now. Today? Well, look at Shannon inserting herself into the I'm not. I'm just sitting here. Yeah. Oh, I'm just sitting here. So coy. Cool. So um. I know not in the camera. Oh yeah. So uh, how's Valhalla? It's everything you might imagine it to be. It's awesome. Awesome! Cupcakes! Okay, so uh, Dave and I are going to do a bat rep after lunch, but I figured, why wait? Let's go ahead and roll up some of our stuff right now. And uh, this isn't a problem because I'll just talk louder than anybody else in the room. It's still pretty small. That's my forte. All right, did you sign up for the 3 o'clock? Okay. Yeah. I'm just making sure. Yeah, I got up early this morning and the early risers were up. Right? Because it's always like all, that, isn't it, Jan? There's early risers at both all, which you never meet or know about. <laughs> but I do. I mean, the second round. We tried to. Round. We tried. We set our alarm for 7.30, but it... No way. That ain't gonna happen here. I still made it for breakfast. So, um... We, and then there's the mid-range risers. And then there's the late risers. Yeah, right there. Right there. So, um... We, uh, hold on, why can't I find the things? Oh, there it is, there's the missions. Yeah, that's right. There it is, okay. So, uh, we're going to roll for our deployment type. We're doing 1850. Kroms v. Eldar. Yep, the Eldar, the, the spies report that the Eldar are getting their mani petties and they are, they are pressing and ironing their outfits and uh, getting everything just so, and uh, that's how the Eldar march to war. They, uh, they are going to look fabulous. They're all like oiled up inside of their suits. Oh my yeah. gosh. That's right. The Necrons heard that there are some spandex space elves in the vicinity. That's right. And they've got to be got rid of. Yep. This guy's like, do I, do, do, do I look okay? This is Spanx. Can you believe this? Okay, let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna roll here. You do the mission. All right, mission. So you need to get close. You gotta see the number as it comes up. Five. What up? Uh, we don't know what that is. That's the emperor's will. So that is uh, objectives. Primary objective in each deployment zone. Yikes. By the way, I'm awesome at that one. Okay, and now a battlefield type. Three. three, which is hammer and anvil. Oh, I don't wow. like that one. Can we have a different one? If you want, I don't mind. I do. Okay. Can we just pick? Oh, you know, let's just let's roll, roll till we again. get a different one. No, three, six. six. Good. Then it's uh, diagonals. Van Gogh strike. Right. Okay, I say yes to that. I just don't like the long ones because then it's like, well, what size? It's kind of uncomfortable. Whole, you know, turns a lot. It's just moving around. Yeah. You want to be shooting at things. That's right. I do want to be shooting at things. All right. We'll see you people after lunch. We'll see you. Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. That's a new wave I've been working on. It goes like this. I call it swoosh. Swoosh. See? It's already made one person happy. Awesome. You know, it's really nice to see immediate results. So, um, here's the deal. See, for example. Oh! Oh! Dave from the UK. He's adorable. He is pretty cute. Yep. I think we need to make a plush form of him. Yeah, absolutely. So he's playing Necrons and uh, going to tell you a little bit about what's in his arms. Right. Hi there. Okay, this is 1850 points Necrons. I'd start with HQ choice. We've got an Overlord with Mineshackle Scarabs, a Resurrection Orb. Uh, Warsize and Sempaternal Weave. 
he has a royal court, which is spread around the army. With him in this squad is a cryptic harbinger of the storm with a lightning field and an abyssal staff. And here we've got ten Gauss immortals, and they'll all be travelling in a night side. Then we've got a squad of 15 warriors with a normal lord, with an orb, mine shackle scarab, sempaternal weave, and war scythe. A little squad of five Gauss immortals. And we've got five normal destroyers. My other fast attack choice, I've got six wraiths with two whip coils. We've got a ghost arm with five warriors and a, another cryptic and harbinger of destruction with a solar pulse and an eldritch lance. And then finally, we've got two annihilation barges with all with, te all with Tesla. That's about it. Great. Hey there. How are you doing? Hey, you're about to be treated to a bat rep. Yes. So we're doing uh, 1,850 points. Here's the Eldar. I have two uh, wave serpents with scatter lasers, holo fields, spirit stones, uh, vectored engines. That's the thing that allows them to flip around at the end of the movement phase. And um, they each have five wraith guard with deep sides. Uh, one of them has a spirit seer in it. So, um, all right, and then the striking scorpions. Seven of those, Exarch with Claw, a Crimson Hunter, and uh, over here I have a Wraith Knight with Scatter Laser Sun Cannon, a Fire Prism, just thought I would take that for kicks and giggles, and two six strong jet bike squads, no Warlock in this one. And that's uh, 1850, and uh, we're ready to go. All right. I'll just keep moving in closer. Am I on? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to talk to you a little bit about the train, but before we get into that, I just want to say we're in a gaming hall. There's a lot of people in here, so it is a little loud. That's just the nature of the beast, folks. So um, here we go. So what's happened is uh, Dave has, oh, excuse me, the terrain here. We go for the easiest terrain possible. So this is all easy terrain to get up here, to get across here. This is difficult and provides cover. Uh, this is difficult and provides cover. Uh, but other than that, we're, we're really easy to get from one level to the next. We just treat that like a three inch jump, just like a, a, a regular, you know, leveling. Um, so if you want to get up there, the, the rest of the stuff is just ampassel. It's pretty, what you see is what you get. And uh, so uh, Dave's going to try and steal. Oh no, we need to roll up powers and warlord trees and all that stuff too. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to choose mine off of the Emandon list. Oh my gosh, I forgot my warlord power. Oh well. Okay, yeah, I got, I got taken to the cleaners by uh, Grey Knight's henchmen this morning. It was pretty bad. Okay, it is a six. The Undying Flame. Warlord rerolls all failed saving throws. Oh, but if he takes a wound, he loses the power. Ah, uh, it's different. Okay, go ahead. Well, I'm going to roll on the strategic traits from the standard rule book. I've got a three, which is all outflanking units have acute senses. I have no outflanking units, so it's. Oh, reroll. Oh. Yeah, house rule is we reroll useless ones. Okay. I'll reroll again. Three, it's the same one. <laughs> and again. And again, another three. <laughs> and one. Uh, you need to have move through cover special rule, moving through ruins, and the stealth ruin special rule. So that might be useful. We'll have to see. <laughs> All right, um, I have um, Runes of Battle, so I'm going to take the Yandan Primaris power, which is uh, Voices of Twilight, that's two warp charge, and then I'm going to take Telepathy, so let's see what I roll up for Telepathy. The result is a two, which is Mental Fortitude, no, and three, Puppet Master, Focus Witchfire, 24 inches. So it makes your enemy shoot himself. Why are you shooting yourself? That's the name of that power. I like that one. Yep. Why are you shooting yourself? Okay. Oh, I need to put on my infiltrators. Thank you very much. Yeah, you can see over there. 
Wow, there's really not anywhere to put them. Well, we're just going to call this, okay? Especially since I can be toasted on the first turn. Yeah, I can't sharpen the scorch just gets killed hideously every time. It hasn't happened yet. It hasn't happened yet. <laughs> All right. I'm going to call that a day. You know what? I'm just going to bunch them together. I'm not afraid of your blast and temperate weapons. I have none. Oh, you don't. <laughs> that takes care of that. Okay, steal the initiative. Or rather, don't steal the initiative, please. I'll try. Oh! Oh, yes. <laughs> what the heck? That's a uh, good start. So. All right. Sounds good. All right. We'll, we'll, yeah, let's, let's talk about deployment. Okay, so um, as an Eldar player, you've got to not only think about where you're going to deploy, you need to think where are you going to redeploy. So for me, uh, the jet bikes can move faster. So you notice that on both sides here, I'm really spread out. Well, guess what? They're all going to be on the same side in one turn. So the jet bikes can move all the way over here. And you'll notice in the middle of the board, there's this giant obstruction right here. There's really no way to see through it unless you're shooting from side to side. And even then, it's, all, it's very narrow. So um, the board really is split. So I really wanted Dave to set most of his forces up over here because I'm going to try and come around this side and just piecemeal them from this and make the battle happen in this very narrow area right here. The problem is these guys. These guys can really hold up the show. Um, yeah, they're just not awesome. Uh, but I do have the uh, Wraith Knight, which can take those. And I put the Wraith Knight, like, right in the middle. I'm just going to hope the shooting doesn't, like, kill him or severely weaken him. Because no matter where he's set up, the Wraith Knight could have moved into an area where you really couldn't have seen that much. Alright, that's all i got to say. What about you, sir? Um, I'm very aware of the movement of the jet bikes, so, and, and the transports, in fact. So I've got to protect my objective at all costs. So I put the bulk of my troops on the board around the objective to start with. Do you only have two troops choices? No, I have... Uh, I have uh, cool. Okay. Because I got one in there. the destroyers out here on the right flank just in case the jet bikes did come around the corner. Because they are a giant distraction. Um, and then I've just put yeah, a, a solid base of fire is basically all I can provide at the moment. So, yeah, that's me. Alright, go. Okay. We'll be back at the uh, end of movement phase. Okay, so having seized the initiative, that means I, I can actually get potentially a little bit of damage done to start with. First unit I moved was the destroyers down here on the right. They just jumped over this big bit of terrain, and I'm going to try and have a go taking a couple of hull points off one of those wave serpents. Ah, he is he is so optimistic. The, uh, the wraiths here, I just inch them forward a little bit because I still need them to be reacting. Um, this annihilation barge, I just moved him forward about six inches to become to get into range of the race night. I live in hope, but I might be able to do a little bit of damage. The big blob of warriors just inched forward to get a bit of a better bead on some of these. Uh, yeah, I think the scorpions, that was like the worst deployment ever. I would have been better putting them right here and just sneaking them up. Yeah. Yep. I reckon so. <laughs> but you never know. You never know. Because I can't charge my first turn, so I have to basically wait a two turns of shooting. And I don't think they're going to survive that. Just sat there, putting their thumbs, yeah. humming along. That's right. <laughs> I moved the 
go start forwards about an inch just to gain my jinx save. And these guys stayed where they are because they can see the scorpions anyway. On this final annihilation barge, I move around the corner to give myself the option of shooting them, and I can see a couple of the backs of the jet bikes there, so I might might be within range, or not sure. So I'm going to start doing some shooting. First thing I'm going to shoot is the destroyers at that left hand wave serpent there. I'm ready. Ten shots. Uh, three to hit. Right, they got preferred enemy, so I can re-roll the ones. So that's... By the way, these slag pits make great dice rolls. Oh, they're brilliant. <laughs> that's nine hits. And I need sixes to do anything with the gauss. Um, so I've got one glance on that. Okay, four up cover. Come on! Oh, I should have I should have blown the dice. Then. <laughs> okay. That's one whole point. That's all I got. Did you just stop? Um, then going from smallest number of options to greatest. Yes, which you learned from me. Uh, I've always done it, but nope. it's good to Hold on, hold advice. on. I want to go on record and say that he learned it from me. <laughs> okay, so this is this. Dave. Uh, He's going to bust you up. Yes, you learned it from me, right? <laughs> no, don't give in, Dave. Don't give in. Don't to me, take it. Never don't stop. take it from me. I'll never stop. <laughs> Kelly has seen so many souls slide down the slippery slip and slide of damnation. I will agree that you That's right. Confirmed. My that slip and good. slide is covered with Nutella. It's a good oh, oh crap! Your slip and slide is filled with Nutella. Yeah. Okay, that is so it's delicious. wrong on so many levels. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Gosh, I gotta go have a shower. <laughs> You're welcome, world. <laughs> okay, so let's, uh, anyway. let's do some shooting. So, first of all, oh, it moves awesome. six inches, so that means. <laughs> oh my god! No. Are you recording that whole time? <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank goodness. I don't want any evidence. Good thing I have. Of your Mischief. <laughs> yes. Mischief. That's a very politically on, correct word. Drills. Let's right. do it. Well, I put the I put the right colour t shirt on. That's a BTP rule. Yeah. Blue. Your name your new name is whatever your shirt is. Speed says. thrills. Okay, so the Tesla cannon underneath firing at the Wraith Knight. Alright. The Wraith Knight. Two missions. Not. Awesome. And then we've got the twin twin link to Tesla Destructor at the same. These are a normal BS. That's three hits and it's twin link, so I re-roll the one. That's a miss. Um, so it's tough to say against strength seven, so I need five to wound it. One wound. Okay. Uh, five up. Yeah! Undefeatable. You're going down. I'm going down. I hope you know. You get your armor safe against that. That where you're going is down. You pull your ticket out of your pocket. The train is just pulling in. Where or where could you be going? Down. Down. To the celestial kingdom what it denied. Says. <laughs> yeah. No admittance. Okay, what's going on? What's going on now? I'm going to shoot. Yeah. Okay. Warriors. I just need to check who's actually in range. You can see. So I can see the board. Oh my gosh, that was the dumbest place to put the scores. Why? And he was all like, oh no, that's okay. It's okay. You, you never know. There. You never know. Yeah, that's true. They can win me. They could just make all those saves and just do it. So, 15 shots from the Warriors at the Striker Scorpions. He isn't taking your shenanigans. That's right. Dave's good. He's a proper Brit, he is. Oh, thank you. Old yeah. chap. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Um, are you tough this three? Or uh, tough this four? Three. Three. So I need oh, yeah. threes to wound. It's not great. It's not bad. So that's seven saves. Seven? Seven saves. That's it? That's, it. That's all I gotta make? That's all you managed to do? Oh, yeah. Okay, two guys are dead. <laughs> <laughs> two guys. 
That's it? That's all you're able to do? He's going to do his single time into the That's right. And we've got 10 shots from the ghost arc. So we need to hoard it in. That's the guys inside. Uh, no, I think actually it'd just be five because the array isn't in the right alignment. It'd be five shots from the guys in the ghost arc. Yeah. Um, so, are there only five guys on board? Yes, and there's a cryptic crypt tech in there as right. well. He hasn't shot yet, but I'll, I'll do him next. Um, so, so, threes, and then that's that many wounds, and then we've got the Eldritch Lance, misses. Awesome. So it's another four. Arms. Four wounds? That's it? That's, that's all, all I gotta do? Yeah! Ah, I scoff at your four wounds. Bam, 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 bam. Five shots from the immortal okay. in the tower there. To where? To the scorpions. Oh, okay. Because they're not facing them, I don't think they can shoot them. Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I'll turn them if you like. <laughs> oh, you're so, do you see? That's that's the British accommodation. He doesn't want to make a scene. He's just ready to do it. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the other way around. <laughs> that's right. Wonderful. Lovely. Have you seen any crumpets? I haven't seen any crumpets. 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 Who do you know what a crumpet is? Teen what do you imagine a crumpet looks like? A biscuit. <laughs> I imagine it's a. Do you know those old, um, those old uh, stereophonic players where they have like the bell that comes up? I imagine it's a pastry shape like that. Oh my god! That's what a crumpet is. Is it a pastry? Yeah, it is. Okay. It's got loads of holes in it. Okay. So you put it in a toaster. Yeah. Or under the grill and then cover it in butter. Oh. Nice. That actually sounds good. With tea. Oh, okay. With tea. Oh, and hold on. It's a, a, a dodgy jammers. I love those. Jammy dodges. Yeah, jammy dodges. Yeah. That's a real Dyslexia. thing. Because <laughs> I do. Okay, go ahead. All right, I'm going to shoot these guys. Um, four hits. And these are twos to win because they're strength. Hold on, hold on. A dodgy jammer oh my is gosh. a big old blob of jam with like a cookie in the middle. A little cookie in the middle. That's right. That's, that's a dodgy jammer. Mostly jam. Two swoons. So, four wounds. Four wounds? Four wounds. All right, here we go with four more saves. Yeah! Oh, two more guys dead. Uh, I got and I gotta endure two rounds of this. Goodbye, Scorps. Go ahead. Your life was so brief. Brief but beautiful. Yeah, I guess so. But he just has to sit there for a turn. Hold on, hold on. When he moves, I'm gonna actually set him on a side. He's, he's gonna go prone. He's gonna go prone like that. That's what's happening. I'm doing this. Scared. That's why. Yeah. He's like he's just down like this. Please, please let it be over. The robots are coming yeah. to get me. I'm too beautiful to die. <laughs> oh, that should be that should be a uh, an Eldar special rule. Too beautiful to die. Yeah. If it's the last guy, he gets a two plus and vulnerable save. A fabulous save. Yeah. A fabulous save. <laughs> a Not fabulous even a vulnerable save. save. It's a fabulous save. I like that a lot. A fabulous save works. Hold on, I'm making up rules for this. A fabulous save is done like this. When your opponent's not looking. You can put the dice down on any Bam. number you want. That's fabulous. That's a fabulous That's save. fabulous. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, go. Oh my god. No, guy, you talk so much. Just play the game, Dave. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I, I, it's not, no banter. No banter. You don't want any banter. Banter banter. <laughs> yes. That's someone else. Okay. So we got the Tesla cannon underneath, shooting at the scorpions. Two shots. I need sixes to hit. No hits. And then we've got the twin link Tesla destructor on the top. Okay. At the same. Is this snapshots then? This is normal BS. Oh, time. okay. Okay, so re rolling that. And because of Tesla, I got a six there. That means I get two extra hits. Hits, okay. So that's. You know, these are the twos to wound. Okay. So that's all wounded, which is excellent. So oh, okay. crap. Six, six wounds. Six sure. saves? No, why, why? Oh, crap. I'm just going to make them all. Uh, no. Oh, I failed one. Awesome. Guy dies. Remember, you can't you can't kill the Exarch. They're dropping like prone. flies. He's 
He's prone. Um, yeah. That is the end of my I learned that rule from infinity. Yeah. I don't play The guys go prone. Yeah, so that, that's okay, my shooting next? phase. So okay. I've got no assault No close moves, combat. So it's short. Sure. So, well, this, this won't take very long. Really? Uh, wow, I can't really get the scorpions out of the line. So I'm going to do something a little daring, which is I'm going to move and run six inches. Yeah. And I'm just going to get right up in what's his face's grill, quote unquote. Right? Just get him up right behind him. We'll see what he does now. Okay, so we gotta go. Wow, should I run the Wraith Knight right into the center of your army? Why not? It'll be... <laughs> I think I'm going to. This is how you play after you've seen Pacific Rim. Yeah. Right? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this is like waggling back and forth, making obscene gestures, you know? Oh wow. my god. Oh, inside's crying. <laughs> yeah, then. Because he's got no brother left. Oh. 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 Alright, so check this out. Okay, so what is the ultimate death range of this unit? It's six, and then deploy six, right? So my guy's here, and then an eight inch whatever it is. But if I do Voices of Twilight, then I can get a run before I do that as well. So I actually think I'm just going to annihilate these guys just for kicks and giggles. Okay, so I'm going to move six inches, flip around like this. Deploy this unit. So they go up to six inches out from the hatch. So they would be here. Yeah. Oh, hey, hello. What's up? Uh, I want everyone to know that Kelly and I just accidentally touched elbows. <laughs> but I don't think it's accidental. We touched weenuses. Uh, <laughs> Are you recording? <laughs> oh, this, man. Is, this, this is why Kelly is so awesome. <laughs> okay, I'm doing uh, Voices of Twilight. And if I fail this, I'm dead. <laughs> why? Why? Hold on. I'll still be able to hit some things. Yeah, maybe. Oh, no, this is not going to be awesome. That is not going to I needed that. Dude, I needed that. My heart bleeds. Why? Oh, shut up. Oh, you know. <laughs> shut up. Okay. Can I do it with the guys on the other side, six inches out? No, I'd, I'd have to run so far. But and you've got reserves coming in, right? I do. Yeah. yeah this is weird. This is really weird. All right. We are just gonna keep on moving. All right. You know, no need to record this part. All right. Um, those guys ran. They can't shoot. I got the sun can in here, so uh, let's just, uh, let's get to it, and um, we've got, um, you know, let's do the prism cannon first, uh, hold on, no, five, eight, and three, that's what we're doing. So we're going to do this. This is from the prism. Fire prism. I don't know. Right. Maybe that guy right there. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I think we can do that. Okay, here we go. Here's the scattered ice. Kelly. That's a hit. So how many guys? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Okay, looking for three. Strength five. Toughness four. And that is four wounding hits. AP three. AP three. So you do get cover because this is all in the way. Four wins. 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 Now this guy's sun cannon, the scatter laser, this will get twin linked to subsequent items, so that's uh, two hits, so that means twin linked for this, which is re-roll, and uh, we'll just try and get three, I think that'll do. Actually, let's do that guy, right there. Okay, here we go. Number one. 
that scatters this way four inches. And that's not, I'm going to re-roll that. I think I can do better. That's a hit. So three guys. Right. Next one. Uh, that's a hit. Third one. Oh, that's 11 that way. No, nope. I'm going to re-roll it. That's a hit. Awesome. Nine. So scatter laser. That's one wound. And so a regular save and uh, nine wounds from the sun cannon. Strength six AP2. So that is um, six. So two with the save, six with no save. Yep. Yep. So two with saves. Uh, one save. Okay, sounds good. So, and then Do these guys have a rending? Yes. Oh, awesome. Um, that might not be awesome. So seven, for me. seven die. Okay, I'm ready. Good. All right, here we go. Scatter laser on those guys. Looking for threes, that's four hits. What's their toughness? Uh, five. So that is uh, two. two wounding hits. A two and a one were the other results. So two. Wow. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, there we go. Uh, two saves? Yeah, it's like AP's five or something. Two wounds, so that's two, that's not good. Two die. Uh, really? Yep. It's only strength six. So yeah, it was three to win. Okay, sounds good. Do they only have one wound each? Yeah. Oh, why did I do that first before the flamers? I quite, oh, I quite fragile. I quite fragile. Yeah, but I could have wiped them out if I had done that first. Oh, that was poor tactics, folks. That was poor. Oh, so bad. I could have just wiped out that unit and I could have walked away from it. What? Yeah, they are. Yeah. Look how happy he is. Look at that. All right, go, your turn. Okay, so I've got to make some leadership checks. So firstly, I'm the destroyers. They're fine. They love it. So I got two reanimation protocol rolls to do on a five. So one gets back up. Okay. That's all I did. Oh, I could have just wiped out that unit. And then over here, it's a little bit more severe. Uh, I've got to do leadership. Oh, and they fail! Awesome! They fail, and they're running. That's great. They're running. Right off the board. They're pretty close. They are they're pretty like close. six or seven so inches away. Six? Oh, it could be close. Could be close. Not quite. Are they on? Yeah. Oh. Awesome. Boy, that is good for you. 